Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Friday. This is where we talk about money, finances, where we help you make the best financial decisions and the best investment decisions possible. So if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. If you've only just found this, this channel and you're a first time investor, you want to learn how to invest and how to make some money on the stock market, then this is definitely the channel for you. Make sure that you subscribe. And whilst you're at it, smash the like button and hit that notification bell as well so you get notified when I post a video every Tuesday and Friday. That's right, we have moved up the schedule from one video a week to two videos a week. So with that out of the way, for this video this week, I am going to be doing a review. Now, ever since my account has been monetized for the last couple of months, there is this one provider that constantly gets put at the front of my videos. When I look back over it, I've not actually done a review of them. So today is the day where I'm going to review them and get underneath the bonnet of what they're actually like and give you guys some pointers, some things to consider if they are on your radar to use as an investment provider. That company is eToro and they are very, very popular indeed. But as always, when I do these reviews, I am coming at this from the experience of being a financial advisor, a qualified financial advisor, and with the experience of being in this thing for 15 years. And what I'm trying to do here is to try and strip back all of my knowledge and my experience and put myself in your shoes as a first time investor and ask one or two very, very simple questions. If I did not know what I know, would the information that they're presenting me be enough for me to make an informed decision? That's the premise for this review. Now, clearly, what I want to do here is try to be as unbiased as possible, but I am also going to give you my honest thoughts and things for you to bear in mind if you are indeed going to be looking at eToro as a possible means for you to invest in the market. So with that said, make sure that you don't take any of this as financial advice. Again, use it as a basis to do your own research. But now that that is fully out of the way, let's crack on and get into this review of eToro. Okay, so let's kick this off by going over to my laptop and just have a look at their website. I've not downloaded the app because what I want to do here is highlight as much information as possible and talk through some of the things that I think are going to be really, really important for you to consider if you are looking to use eToro as an investment vehicle for you in the future. So this is the homepage of eToro. And I love this advert with Alec Baldwin, by the way. Um, I've watched this a number of times because my channel's now monetized. And it does give you that kind of like good feeling about investment. It does kind of give you that little push to start investing. And I like the excuses that he kind of uh, shares and his comeback to those kind of things, they make it sound really, really simple. And, you know, when you're using apps like this, the whole idea is that it is simple, that it is at your fingertips. So I really, really love this advert. But one of the things obviously to bear in mind with this before we get into the main uh, initial bits that I think are very, very important for you to consider, obviously, as a first time investor, is this little dis disclaimer right at the top here. And I do want to address this specifically within this review, because I think this is a really important thing that people often read, but don't truly take notice of. And that is this little statement here. CFDs are complex instruments and come with high risk of losing money rapidly due to leverage. 75% of retail investor, investor accounts lose money when trading CFDs with this provider. You should consider whether you understand how CFDs work and whether you can afford to take the high risk of losing your money. This is something that they put very, very boldly at the very, very top of their website because, well, they kind of have to from a compliance point of view, but they are trying to make you aware of the risks very, very early on that you're taking if you're going to be using them to trade 
CFDs. Now, CFDs are contracts for differences, if you didn't know what that basically means. So I need to do a completely separate video on exactly what they are. But for the purpose of this review, I think that's very, very important. And I am going to be speaking specifically as to why 75% of retail investors lose money when trading CFDs, because it is a very, very risky game. And if you're a first time investor, you need to avoid it as much as possible as much as possible. I cannot stress this enough. So when I do these reviews, there are two things that I always say that are non-negotiable for whenever you're using a provider. And typically you find that information down in the footer of the provider's website. So let's just go down here. Now again, they do have that same warning in their footer. So they put it on here twice. And you've got some of the company registration details here as well. Um, with these guys, they're also regulated out in Cyprus. Now, it isn't uncommon for you to see that some of these providers these days do have dual uh, regulatory oversight, one from the FCA here in the UK and one from wherever it is that they originate from. So Trading212 is a prime example. They're also regulated in uh, Bulgaria. Now, oftentimes they will say that this is a good thing in terms of the, the consumer gets two levels of protection. But the reality is that we don't know or have any remit over how things are governed or whether the authorities, the equivalent of the FCA in Cyprus actually does their job. We don't know. And as far as we're aware, the, the, the regulators out in Cyprus have no jurisdiction here in the UK. So whilst, whilst some of them will say that it's uh, added protection, it's dual regulation, you've got added you know, bonus, so whilst so whilst some of these providers might so whilst some of these providers might say well you've got dual protections because you're going to be you know so whilst some of these providers will say well you're getting dual protections and it's a great thing because we're regulated out in Bulgaria or Cyprus and here in the UK the reality is the regulators out in Cyprus have no jurisdiction here in the UK so it doesn't really give you that much benefit as a consumer. But the main thing that we're looking for here is that they are authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority, which you can see right here. And the other thing that we're looking for is whether or not they actually provide cover for you under the Financial Services Compensation Scheme. Now, I'm just looking for that in the footer. It's not, it's kind of in the middle of this text, I'm sure, but I'm just trying to spot it. I've seen it here. So where are we with this? Um, where is it? Where's the actual beginning? Okay, so this is something that need, that you need to be aware of. So let's just read this entire thing because I think this is very important because in terms of context, because reading this, it looks as though because they've mentioned it, that you are automatically covered under the financial services compensation scheme. However, there is wording in here that tells me differently. So what they're saying in this paragraph, which I'm just going to read here is, you should seek advice from an independent and suitably licensed financial advisor and ensure that you have the risk appetite, relevant experience and knowledge before you decide to trade. Under no circumstances shall eToro have any liability to any person or entity for any losses or damage in, in whole or part caused by, resulting from or relating to any transactions related to CFDs or B, any direct, indirect, special, consequential or incidental damages whatsoever. Cryptocurrency markets are unregulated services which are not governed by any specific European regulatory uh, framework and they're including MIFID here. MIFID is a, is a piece of, of legislation that came in a few years back. Therefore, when using our cryptocurrencies trading services, you will not benefit from the from protections available to clients receiving MIFID regulated investment services, such as access to the Cyprus Investor Compensation Fund, the ICF, the Financial Services Compensation Scheme, and the Financial Ombudsman Service for Dispute Resolution. Trading with Etoro by following and or copying, replicating the trading of others' traders involves a high level of risk, even when following and or copying or replicating top performing traders. Such risk includes the risk that you may be following, copying the trading decisions of possibly inexperienced, unprofessional traders or traders whose ultimate purpose or intention or financial status may differ from yours. Past performance of an eToro community uh, members is not reliable indicator of its future performance. Content on eToro social trading platforms is generated by members of its community and does not contain 
advice or recommendations by or on behalf of eToro. Now, that statement is really, really, really long. But what essentially what they're doing here is they are they're covering their own backs. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about the fact that you can actually trade, you can copy traders and copy people who are already trading within their commun community. We'll speak about that a bit later on. That in itself can be a little bit dangerous and they're covering their backs here. But ultimately, are you covered under the financial services compensation scheme? The answer to that is no. So for me, when I talk about doing reviews and being SCA registered, authorized and regulated by the SCA being really, really important, and having covered under the financial services compensation scheme, as far as I can tell here, you are not gonna be covered under the financial services compensation scheme here because you know cryptocurrencies aren't covered under, under MIFID. Um, so this for me is a little bit of a red flag. So you just need to be mindful of this when you're using eToro to move forward. Now let's actually have a look at the investing side. Now, if you follow me, you will know that I don't talk about trading. Trading is completely different to investing. It's a completely set, different skill set. It's a completely different outlook. I have never traded in my life. However, I have worked in financial services for 15 years and I've worked for investment houses. I've been around investing and investing, investments and investing for quite some time. So this stuff I know. So for the purpose of this review, I'm gonna be focused at focusing on the investing side. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about some of the copying of traders and, and some of those accounts as well, because I think there are some things that you need to be made aware of. And that will tie very nicely into the reason why 75% of retail investors using this platform lose money. These are all things that are extremely important. And if you know me, it's all about providing you information. So when you're going into a situation like this, you're going in with your eyes open. Now let's go on to their investing tab right here. So zero commissions, you can copy portfolios, they're popular investors. So let's just go on to zero commission stocks and see what they have to offer here. Now zero commission stocks, this is very, very popular. Now trading 212, free trade, you do exactly the same thing. So this is not anything too alien to what you may be hearing, um, you know, the likes of trading 212 and free trade actually doing. I think this is a great opportunity to get people started investing in the markets and starting to build confidence because the alternative is you're not using Hargreaves Lansdowne because there's a thing you can't buy fractional shares there's a cost involved and oftentimes the barrier to entry is is quite high the fact that there's no commission on these I think is a really really strong selling point to get people on this investing journey very very early on so how does it work you open an account you make your first deposit you choose your favorite stocks you click trade and you basically then buy. Um, <clears throat> all the gains go to you, not your broker. And you know, it, it's, it's just there. And you know, why stop at 0% commission? The advantages of buying stocks in eToro do not end with unbeatable pricing, no limit on trading volume. So that's very, very good if you've got large sums of money that you actually want to sort of turn over over a period of time or you're, or you're trading to buy you know, um, a bigger bulk over a period of time because you have you know information you've done your research the ability to buy fractional shares, that's always very, very good. So they're on par when it comes to trading 212 on that regard. Receive notifications on volatility in market events. Now, that's actually quite important. If you are going to be buying stocks, then you need to be basing your, your buy decision on market intelligence, on information, on resources. So if they're sending you, market, or, you know, information on volatility and market events, then that's good. But the question is, do you know what volatility basically means? So every single day when you're investing, if you're buying Tesla share, for example, yesterday was a prime example of this. Tesla share opened at $499. By the end of the day, it was down to 440. And during the day, it went up and down just like that. Now, volatility is basically a measurement of how much a stock moves over a period of time. So that period of time could be a day, it could be a week, it could be a month, it could be a year, but it's the amount of times that it goes up and down. Now that's really, really important if you are buying direct shares because you want to monitor where you're buying your stock, at what price you're buying, are you buying at the top, are you buying at the bottom? Ideally, you wanna buy at the bottom and you also want to understand where the stock is actually trending. So if you're buying on a downward slope, you need to decide whether you buy at this point or whether you wait for it to go down. And there are certain indicators that you can that you can have a look at. And that 
kind of speaks a little bit more into trading, but it's important that you understand where you're buying your stock and how volatility is, mar is affecting the market price of that stock so you buy it at the right point. So those things are really, 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 really good if they're sending you that information as well. Free access to tip ranks, expert stock analysis. Again, if you're buying stocks, you need to be doing stock analysis and understanding the business that you're buying. So if they're giving you access to you know this kind of information, absolutely fantastic. This is music to my ears because it's going to do nothing but to empower your buying decision. So I'm just going to go down here really, really quickly. There's some reviews on here. There's some frequently asked questions. Uh, let's click start invest and see what we've got here. Now, I don't actually want to create my account um, because I don't want to open another account with another person. So I'm just going to go back out of this and I'm going to just have a quick ganders at, um, let's have a look at the education center actually, because I think this is really important. Again, anything that's going to empower your, your decisions, I think for me is absolutely crucial. And I welcome this kind of stuff from providers. So let's have a look at their news and analysis. Tesla, obviously, um, you have to you have to love Tesla and you have to love that they're actually actually making some commentary on this. So let's just have a look at this because this is from um, today. Tesla hits the brakes after Mammoth Rally and it will. I did a video on Tuesday talking about what might happen next. And what we saw yesterday was that there was a big uh, shareholder in uh, Tesla who was forced to liquidate some of their assets because of the maximum allocations they can actually have. Now, this is a natural thing that will happen when you experience this kind of growth. And we saw the, 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 the stock slide back a little bit yesterday. It's to be expected. I kind of talked about that on Tuesday. So if you've not watched that video, make sure you go and watch that as well on Tesla. But it's good that they're actually providing this kind of stuff and they're doing this on a daily basis. You get the candlestick analysis of what happened to the stock yesterday. Now let's just go back out of this one. Um, I do want to have a look at the complete guide to fintech. So this is just going to give you a bit of uh, information about the fintech um, sector, I would imagine. Yes, yeah, so it's giving you a lot of content there actually, how to trade cryptocurrencies, how to trade commodities, investing with copy trading. So look, if you're a first time investor, I would strongly recommend that you take time to actually read through this stuff. Because if you're going into anything where you're spending or investing your money, risking your money, I should say, then it's really important that you acquire the knowledge that, is, that you need in order to make sure that you don't lose your money. This is all about stacking odds in your favor. And the fact that they've actually spent the time to create an 18 chapter resource here is, I love it but you have to take the time to actually read it and make sure that you digest the information so that if you are going to be copy, you know, copying trades, you at least know what to look out for and you know what to expect. You've got their insights of the things that they think that you should know in that position whilst you're doing that. Um, I do want to go on to, I've talked about social trading here as well, daily market reviews, go and have a look at all of this stuff. But I do want to address, if I can just find it on here, the reason why pe most people lose 75% using this provider. Now, I've said this before, and I think it's really, really, really important, guys, to acknowledge that regardless of what Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, or even YouTube might tell you, because there are loads of guys out here with ads about how you should be trading and how you can make money overnight, and it's a quick ticket to being rich. None of that is true. Oftentimes, when people begin to invest with people like eToro, Free Trade, and they're using CFD, so they're actually trading and leveraging so that they can in, in trade at volumes for better returns, oftentimes they're not investing, starting with the right objective. It's how can I make money quickly? And unfortunately, that is a recipe for disaster because oftentimes there isn't a grounded goal, number one, and you hear me speak about goals all the time. You have to know why you're investing and investing to be rich is not good enough. It needs to be more tangible than that. So oftentimes people trade because they want to get rich overnight. They just want to make a quick buck, thinking that they can make 100 quid, 500 quid a day and they'll be happy. And oftentimes they forget to seek out the knowledge and the foundation that is required for them to make the best 
investment decision possible to increase their chances, chances of making 100 or 500 pounds a day. This is really, really, really important, guys. So when you're copy trading, right, all you're essentially doing is you are copying another person's trade patterns. That's all you're essentially doing. And they've already posted in their disclaimer at the footer of their, of their, of their website that clearly sometimes there is no guarantee that the person that you are copying is a professional. They could be a newbie just like you. Therefore, it's extremely important that you get that knowledge. This is the difference between somebody giving you a fish instead of teaching you how to fish, okay? Those two things are very, very different. I could go fishing for you, bring you th back four or five sea bass. But if I put you in a boat, put you on a lake, give you a fishing rod with bait, right? And teach you how to fish. You know how to do this after I am gone. And oftentimes when you're copying traders or you're copying what other people are doing, that's essentially what's happening. You are not learning how to do this yourself. It, more importantly than that, you don't know why the person that you're copying is investing or trading in the manner that they are. You don't know whether this person has £250,000 in a, in, in a bank as an emergency fund and therefore can afford to take risks that you cannot afford to take as a first-time investor. So it's really, really, really important. Don't just do this to think that you're going to get rich overnight and don't do this just to copy somebody else. That's one of the big things that they put in the ad, which I think is really, really dangerous. But as a professional in the industry, I have to highlight that because it is so, so important. It is the path to ruin. But I hope that you found value in this and I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on eToro. Are you using them? Have you used them? What was your experience of them? Have you copied trade? How did you actually do? Did you have a positive outcome? Did you have a negative outcome? Let's have a conversation in the comment section because I think it's really, really important. What do you think about the difference of somebody fishing for you or you actually having the skills to actually go out and fish for yourself so you can build wealth for, you, for yourself and buy yourself in the future? Is that important to you or is it not really that important? Let me know in the, section, in the comment section below. And guys, if you've not listened to the podcast, this is the artwork right there. It's available on Apple, Google, Spotify, it's a really, really good podcast. We talk about everything across money, finances. It's a really good listen. Make sure you go and support there. And if you've enjoyed this video and you've made it this far, thank you so much. Make sure you smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button so you know when I post every Tuesday and every Friday. But thank you so much for watching. Until Tuesday, have a great weekend. Catch you soon.